Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Crystal Synth XT. So the XT is important, the XT allows you to hook up MIDI. So there is another version, I'm not sure if it's free or not, but there's another lesser version where you get the patches, but you've got to play the actual thing. Instead I can actually just play the play the keyboard. The sounds are incredible. This thing is a programmer's dream. I'm not even going to go down the road if I understand any of this because, you know, really it's so deep. You can create pretty much anything. With three voices, so, you know, it accesses three oscillators. Um, you get a mixer. Uh, you, you get a nice help. <laughs> and then you get your performance section where you can choose between keyboard. You also have this, this uh, you know, it's like a breeding thing. It, it will um, create new patches from how you set certain things up here. It's very, very cool. Um, I'm going to play a few of the sounds and just... It's like a blast in the past. It's not an AU. I don't think it ever will be. I guess it's pretty much forgetting. Well, it does work on this. It's So it is 64-bit and it is audio bus compatible. Um, so that's cool. And that's how I would use audio bus anyway with this. I'd, I'd, like, I'd rather have the wave recorded if I was going to, because I'd probably use it for ambient and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to play a few of the sounds. That they are just awesome. I'll just say as well also that this is an iPad Air 2. Now, I'm not sure about these CPU spikes. They don't appear to affect my playing or the sound in any way whatsoever. So I don't know. Most of the time it stays pretty low. So I, I, have, no, I have no clue. <laughs> So by hitting the actual breed, it, it creates a new sound, but you can choose how 
it breeds with It's a wild thing. Great, isn't it? Now, a lot of the time it seems to play in, in monophonically. I'm not sure if you can change that, but it doesn't really matter because the sounds are kind of... It is poly. I mean, you can play strings in poly, but it has this kind of weird triggering on the keyboard. It's not like true legato. You have to kind of take your finger off the key most of the time. Hey, but like I said, for stuff like this is what I would use Crystal for in like an ambience thing. So you get stacks of presets to even start and like, you know, even with that, um, the spawn thing, you're kind of limitless. And then if you're into programming, well, you know.
modulation wheel. So there you go, guys. A quick look at Crystal XT. Was an awesomely popular synth, massively, hugely popular synth on the desktop, and then it got ported to iOS. It didn't do so well on iOS, I don't think. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. It was a bit... When it came out, it was a bit powerful for the actual iOS version, it was really, I can remember when I first got it, I was playing with it, and it really did kick the CPU up a lot, um, but with the, now, late, with later iPads, I mean, this was ages ago, but this this seems to be really great, so I'm going to definitely be using this in an ambient thing I'm doing, but uh, yeah, it's cool beans, check it out, you know, I'll put links in the description, etc, etc, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron, and thank you for watching, I will see you guys later.